What's up, agents? You're listening to episode 197 of SITREP Radio, giving you the news and other happenings in the world of The Division 2. This week, the first of The Division 2 seasons go live, and there's a lot of discussions about difficulty. But first, my name is Mike, and joining me, as always, is my co-host, Robert. Hello. And Luke. Hello. And I hope you guys and our listeners have had a great week in uh, Warlords of New York as well as other areas of the division. Also, welcome to any new listeners of the show. Appreciate you listening and checking out the show for the first time. We've had a, a few people shout out on uh, YouTube and Twitter, so it's really appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, straight into it then. Good week, guys. I'm going to go to Rob first. Off the back of last week's episode, how are you feeling? I was hungover for like two days. It was horrible. I'm, g- I'm glad. But I'm gonna be honest. I will glad. give you. I'm, I, I will give you. Horrible thing that. to say. Uh, put it this way: I messaged Luke, and he went out, and he was absolutely fine the next day. So I was like, uh, "It's because I can handle my alcohol." Uh, you did have a little bit of feedback from last week, Rob. No, did no. you do, have you heard this at all or read this? Possibly. Okay, so Seamaster GMT stated that uh, Syrup Rob's ending. Of this week's, well, I said, uh, apologies, I said that the ending of last week's episode was the worst e- ever. He disagrees. He feels it was the best ever. Rob, please continue drinking during the podcast and do the end just the same. That was hilarious. I don't think you could pull that off every week. I'm no. waiting for challenge accepted. But... I'm wishing I could remember what I said, so. <laughs> Well, if you want to find out, go back and listen no, to uh, would, the end no, of. Uh, no. Just skip to the last five minutes no. of uh, last week's episode. No. Not you. No. Don't do it. You put out the YouTube episode. I thought you would. I thought you would have listened. No, to I it. don't listen to it. Did. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, what a great advert for our content that is. No, I don't listen to this shit. I don't listen to it. <laughs> I love it. I don't but need to listen to it. It's, it's like, better if I have to record it in the first place. <laughs> it's like Joey um, on Friends when he says he doesn't watch soap operas because he's got a life when he's been interviewed for Soap Opera Weekly or whatever magazine it was. I can't remember the last time I watched Friends. It's on like every day, dude, on nearly every channel. Not the kids' channel. <laughs> yeah, okay, good point. <laughs> this week, Joey put the chicken on his head. Or was it Joey or Monica? I can't remember. Both. Yeah, it was, it was Jerry. But it was a turkey. Yeah. Turkey, yeah. How is Luke this week? You okay, dude? Yeah, fine, thank you. Uh, kind of back on track. Division, you enjoying it? Yeah, I am actually. Yeah. Hmm. A few issues with Tarkov at the minute, so at least you've Appar- got something else yeah, to play. apparently Tarkov's fixed. I've read today. Really? Yeah. I haven't tried it. I can't confirm or deny, but Reddit says it's fixed, so. Okay. I mean, reading okay. that, I read that post earlier that the the player from the a certain area put up, and that was quite an interesting <laughs> read. So, yeah, but no, su- might... no surprise that from said area, right? Anyway, we, I think we've talked about said area enough today. <laughs> Are you talking about genitals right now? I'm confused. No, we're not talking oh, about genitals. Area it's on regions, the planet, dude. Yeah. Oh, and I'm not on about Wuhan. <laughs> Let's get down to the news. State of the game. Okay, so this week's state of the game, uh, Chris Gansler was joined by who's who's on? It was Drew Yannick and Trick Dempsey to talk about uh, Warlords of New York and the most recent seasons released. Uh, they did go over a few of the known issues in the game. So there's currently a couple of issues with regards to Dark Zone Infinite loading, uh, matchmaking queues being way too long, gear sets, talents not working properly. I believe, was it, t- is it Tip of the Spear? Which one's, which is the group one? No, True Patriot isn't working correctly, is it? Yeah, the white 
side of it isn't working as intended. It, that's the group heel, isn't it? Or something like that. Y- it works on the person that's wearing the gear set, but not on the rest of the group. Yeah. Uh, the sound issues, issues reviving group members. i got to be honest, I don't think we've had any issues reviving group members. I, I got bugged out yeah, we did. yesterday. We did last night, oh. didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Rob did. Rob got stuck in I was on like, his knees. I was between, <laughs> it was like something was trying to, there was, I was half between being healed by a, th- um, I really wondered where you were going to go with that. I mean, you were on your knees. It was like something was trying to. <laughs> like a hive was trying to revive me and stopped. And then I just had two blue bars and then you couldn't revive me. So, yeah. Two blue what? Bars. Okay. You know, on the circle that goes around you when you're being revived by the hive? Yeah, I just misheard you, that's all. <laughs> I, I know what you were getting at, Luke. Uh, apparently it's bounties with locations that aren't accessible. Had also that. something we saw last night doing the bunker mission, federal bunker, uh, the, the heel box that was stuck in the wall. Oh, that's God. annoying. It took us ages. Yeah, because it basically made all the NPCs invincible. Uh, bloodsucker Dog. talent is getting stacks from destroyed skills. Uh, apparently, fix is ready, but it doesn't make it. Uh, does not make it tomorrow because there is a an unplanned maintenance tomorrow on the twelfth. Uh, season cash and cash season caches should not be contaminated. Cashews, cashews, get your nuts out. Uh, season levels should increase wow. in the dark zone, which is not currently happening. Which I'm pretty sure they said that you could play wherever you want and you would gain XP towards the seasons. So, yeah. There's a few a few issues that they're working on at the minute. Uh, but yeah, the uh, Shadow Tide season is live, boys. Obviously, obviously, for those of you that have Warlords of New York, if you don't, then unfortunately you will not be able to play it. Those of you who don't should really get it. It is really quite good. And then when you get it, remember to activate your free season yes. pass because it's not very obvious. No, it's not. You need to go into the uh, shop, in-game shop, I believe, to claim it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely free. But I'm guessing season two, three, and four, you're going to have to pay prob- probably about 10, 10 pounds. Yeah, I think Yannick, Yannick said a couple of weeks ago, 10 euros, didn't he? So whatever He also that, said on State of the Game, it's a thousand uh, premium credits. So whatever that is. A thousand's about eight pounds fifty or something. Wow. Bargain. It's not too I don't think it's too bad, to be honest. I wonder if they'll let you buy it with textiles. Yeah. I doubt I've it. I've got loads of them already. Yeah. I doubt it as well, but well, it'd be nice to get like some kind of discount using your textiles. So like you know. Uh but yeah. So we're after Neptune at the minute. You can go hunt him down. Uh and yeah. That's it, really. I've got, I've got to the bounty. Have you? I've tried it twice. It's tough. What do you mean you've got to the bounty? Was that the one we were trying to do last week, last night? Yeah, you was that separate? But I had already started, so I just oh, finished okay. it off today. So after I told you in chat not to start it, you started it anyway, and then you've continued it tonight. <laughs> I, what an maybe. asshole! <laughs> It's fine. I'll still help you guys. Oh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to do. I don't think I'm going to do it on my own. So I'm going to have to wait for you guys to get there anyway, because <laughs> it's nails. What a dick! Thank you. I, I guess the main thing at the minute. Um, are you guys enjoying seasons so far? I was going to bring it up later on the show, but you know, it's, now it's kind of seems the best time to kind of talk about seasons. I mean, I was really enjoying playing it as a team, but. Yeah. <laughs> you see know. that was the thing yesterday which i thought was quite funny because th- there's a huge issue in the game at the minute with regards to difficulty affecting seasons and if you change careful the difficulty make sure you say it right is it lower yeah if you so if, if we started it on heroic, heroic and dropped went to challenging. challenging it would wipe your yeah it would progress. completely reset it, it yeah doesn't do it the opposite way around no and also you can't but if you the situation? do, you can't. You can't you've... join a lower person. You can't join from challenging to hard, and then get XP from it either. Can you? 
if I, you join on, a, on another person. I'm not sure about that one. But you can You'll do get it. XP, you, you just won't way. get any progression. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, I've completely lost my train of thought. Cool. In the meantime, <laughs> Luke, are you enjoying seasons so far? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Yeah. Is it nice true, to have like true. that weekly grind? Because, you know, obviously we've got Neptune to chase after next week. There's a league starting, I believe. Yeah. Next week, and yeah. Then, yeah, and then there's obviously the global event the week after. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure about the global event. I think it depends whether I'll still want gear or not, but I'll do the league next week and I will be trying to get as far through the season and the bounty this week as possible. Yeah, because you got through um you got quite a few levels last night. You only played what, well, two, three hours? Oh, I say two, three hours. I mean half twelve in the end. What's that? I figured out. Uh, well yeah, with, so. At half twelve last night I wasn't really playing as such i was going through my gear that we'd got all night and putting it in the library and improving my build because i'm sick of dying yeah because i've still got three pieces that are under level 40 because the way that the talents and the perks rolled so they, they were really good rolls but obviously lower than 40 so my armor, lower armor rolls, yeah. was like 500k I, but I've, I've boosted that to over 600k last night so yeah you nice. should be sat if you got all reds you should be about 660 I, I love the fact Rob pointed that out halfway through a challenging mission. That's why. <laughs> I did, yeah, but like, the thing is, I didn't, I didn't even think about it. I was just like, oh yeah, I'm a level 40 now, so all my gear will be all right. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, it's not. Why have I still got this level 30 piece on? Damn it. No, I think the lowest was 37. And then I had three pieces that were definitely level 40, but I'm now up to five that are level 40. So I'm like 620k armor, something like that. Nice. But I have, I've gone six red. And then a lot of my attributes are red as well. So I've got literally no armor rolls anywhere except the standard. Good lad. Rolls. That's what covers uh, for, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which we've been using a hell of a lot. Uh, Rob, thoughts on seasons? Yeah, it's good. Um, is it is it completely different to how Destiny does it or similar? Or No, it's very similar. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's effectively like a long project, isn't it? The obviously chasing Neptune down, the, like the side, the, all the missions you've got to do. The only difference is, um, Destiny tends to have like a an activity that comes with it, whereas we're just redoing the same missions we've done previously and the same control points we've done previously. But I do like the fact that we get um, no matter. What, I think it's not sure if it depends on the level, but I was doing we were doing challenging and we were getting blueprints from every single one I'm not sure yeah. that's applicable if it's like a normal or, or not i think was it because we were on challenging most of those or, or maybe it was just the way we were doing it because we had to do a lot of control points last night didn't we yeah so like three but control normally points you, in you only get a blueprint from a heroic yeah but don't forget a couple of those were level fours that we did they were level yeah. four by accident no but they yeah but it four. says in the reward of the, the all of them that you get a blue, you literally get a blueprint from every single one. No nice. matter what. Well, that if, if that is the case, that's going to help me out because I've got a few to chase down as well. I, uh, I, 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 I really did a, sorry, I, sorry, I did a level four challenging checkpoint before we, um, control point even before we started recording. I got a blueprint from that as well. Nice. So well, it that sounds... wasn't part of. No, it's just, uh, I wanted a, I'm after a Petrov mask. So I went to the Petrov targeted loot area and right. just did a yeah, but it was level four right control point so i was in yeah, just, yeah why would you want petrov i thought you'd be keeping the night watcher one petrov's lmg damage and fuck you <laughs> <laughs> that was funny last night that was funny <clears throat> any any game of friends fans give uh luke a dm on twitter <laughs> he is the king in the north <laughs> I'm not going to say anything because he's going to shout at me in a minute. Uh, I, I'll be honest, I, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed the seasons we played last night. It was nice us three like grouping up and playing together again and kind of trying to work as a team. Shout out to Reaper who joined us and picked us up several times. I, did, I didn't actually for once die the most. Luke, Luke unfortunately takes that uh, Burger King crown. I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hoping I can pass that crown off to somebody else today. Me, probably. Yeah, you did die. Yeah, it was quite funny because you were ripping into us and then it was like, hold on a minute, you're dying now. But hey, Leroy strikes. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes it gets boring because we're all using LMGs and everyone, every NPC just gets suppressed. 
So I just get bored and you get depressed. I want to chase them. And then, I, and then I die. Right, okay. So current seasonal progression issues. Uh, when a manhunt is reset, you see progression to Jupiter is zero. Apparently it's a UI bug. Uh, change of directives on global difficulty should not reset, reset the manhunt progression. Apparently they do. And it's just a whole load of issues with difficulty and the the directives all kind of affecting everything when upon resetting your progression, which must really suck, to be honest. Uh, you can lose your directives when joining other sessions and run about making ways for co-op progression to be more transparent and accessible. I think they were trying to make it more accessible in the UI because it kind of tells you that you may not get XP towards seasons or manhunt progression if you join up with other players that are on lower tiers and all, uh, lower diff difficulty tiers and all the rest of it but they really do need to kind of state that property uh, property pro properly uh, there's also going to be a dedicated button which allows you to reset the manhunt progression in the future and that, that's really it they don't really want anything impacting or resetting the manhunt you are currently working on and they're going to try and fix that as soon as they can by the looks of it. Uh, there was issues this week with con control points not setting when the difficulty was changed. That was a huge thing. I know people were talking about that on Twitter, whether you could, whether you had to have them all under control before you reset the difficulty on them. Rob? I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Cool. Uh, but basically when you've taken all, over all the control points, you can reset it by changing the global difficulty, uh, and it will automatically, automatically change when an invasion comes or a manhunt target is active. Uh, so fixes are in, in progress for those things. Do you not feel this could have used quite a lot more bug testing? <sighs> yes. Well, I, I'm pretty sure we said this a long time ago. This should have been on a PTS. No, but just, no, just disagree. no, don't put it on a PTS. Just uh, no, I know. Have it ready sooner and test the shit out of it. I'm sure. I'm sure the team are disappointed that it's not working correctly, and I'm, I'm sure they did their best to uh, QC it as as much as they could. But there are only like minor things that are wrong. Like if you're just stuck at the same difficulty and just do the whole thing, you're not going to have a problem. You call joining a teammate who might be on a different world level than you resetting your progress a minor thing, do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we disagree on that, but okay. Obviously, I ask him. I mean, I would like we did. We we didn't know this was well. We, did we know it was an issue? We knew that the difficulty was like had to be the same for everyone, right? When we did when we started last night. And we just but that was only that because level. of, and we yeah, did that was only because of people complaining on Reddit on Twitter. You know yeah, what I mean? it was that's general consensus. Got quite an active Discord behind us as well. Yeah, people like Boris and Doc in it who Play seem to death. Yeah, seem to not talk about anything else, which is great because they catch all the the little things like this, and they're currently on like forty million plus XP for the week, which is just insane. Yeah. I like the fact that it's now a fight in our clan who's got the number one spot as well. Oh, I've, I've told them all yesterday when we were uh, waiting for you to get online. They're absolutely smashing it this week. Yeah. Well done, guys. Down last week. Uh, it was Boris that smashed it last week. He had like 33 million and second place was like 18. I know Doc's up to like 47 million as of starting <laughs> recording this this episode. There's like... He's 12 hours left till reset. He's working so, from home though, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's going to crack 50 million this week. And I, I don't remember anybody ever cracking 40, let alone 50. So he's, he's absolutely nailing it. I know Boris was on like 38 million as of starting recording and Chuck was on about 33, 34 million, I think. That's the top three. I'm at 13 odd million and 12th. <laughs> Just to give you some perspective. Need to play right, more. Okay, so... Getting back on track with regards to, uh, is that a posh way of telling me to shut the fuck up? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's fine. So much. It's, it's payback for my night watcher comment. Anyway, uh, <laughs> fuck. Lost my train of thought. Right. So some something last week, Rob 
What? Yeah, to be honest, Rob was, Rob was right. He did bring this up. Group scaling is completely out at the minute with regards to TU8. And since this expansion has been dropped and there's been, you know, huge reports from the community that the game's difficult and all the rest of it. I got, got to be honest, I still enjoy the fact that it's a challenge, um, even on challenging. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. But it's quite like oh, me and so Luke funny. didn't have a lot of time spent with the game after we completed the the main campaign last week you know rob you finished the campaign you jumped in with some missions with doc and a couple of others so you really kind of had some time with that and you even you then said it was boris wasn't it you and boris went and did a mission and it was a case of i think you said to me you joined up with him and it went from like one to ten just by you know the scale wise of difficulty and npcs and all the rest of it and you could definitely see that last night as a team of four you know, it was it was pretty challenging to be honest. It was definitely feels bullet spongy. To be fair, a group of four or no, any group up on challenging, it seems to make it heroic. If that makes any sense, it makes it it makes the, the scaling tends to go as if you're playing heroic solo. I played heroic solo quite a lot. I've done a lot of checkpoints. We know you ditched us, you son of a bitch. And well, yeah, it was it was a good way to get good gear because you get a lot of god rolls. So I just did a load. I know me and Luke were online. We're like, what do we do? Oh, Rob, Rob, Rob son of a bitch, he's freaking playing on his own. And then, yeah, and then they explained it in the in state of the game, and it kind of makes sense. Like the scaling for challenging is a little bit off. Not much, but it's like solo challenge, like solo challenging is a little bit off. But I mean, for me, it's, it's, it's easy, but for some people, it would be quite hard if you haven't got a strong build, but the fact that that's a little bit off when you then go into a group of four and that is amplified by the scaling mm-hmm. in the, in the group four, you, you kind of get this, yeah, like an amplified you're amplifying the the, damage, the difficulty yet yeah, again. Yeah, again. Yeah. So it's that, that's even that. The, so that's overtuned as well. Which yeah. So that that's that's the problem at the minute. Is the fact is just it not, would be it, yeah. It'd be interesting if they just under under tune the um, solo a little bit and then see what happens and keep the scaling with the group, just to see what happens that, at that point. Do you do you want the damage that the the players, not the players, the NPCs are actually dealing at the minute to remain no, the same? Yes, I like that. It mean it, you have to. It forces you into cover. Like when I when I was doing heroic stuff, I was literally constantly in cover. You cannot leave cover. If you leave cover, you're dead. No matter what, what build you're using. Yeah, and the the fact with obviously like. The introduction of the the doggos in certain missions as well, like the uh, bombardier ones, kind of why ones. my build went straight towards towards the towards like all reds. Well, that seems to be the case with most people. It's either all reds skill or trying to do reds and a bit of tankiness, but there's not really much else in there. No, and then a lot of it's dedicated on heals, but. Because then you, you 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 abuse the cover to keep you alive, and then you just burst thing down, burst things down. Yeah, but I mean, it is a it's a cover based shooter at the end of the day, so it's doing what it should be doing. But the time it's, taken to yeah, kill the NPCs is interesting. Just far too how long. the gameplay, uh, like the way you play, has shifted from Division Two standard game. We should just run around, be practically invincible, and just destroy everything. Especially on challenging. Now we, you, we're all sat in cover. If you leave cover, you're pretty much dead. Yeah, I do prefer it this way. Mm. I really enjoyed the challenging mission that we did last night. I know we haven't done a heroics yet, but obviously we're trying. We're working our way towards that. Did the stronghold for the what is it the manhunt this uh earlier roosevelt yeah and i had two rogue agents spawn nice 
<laughs> no, <laughs> no, it wasn't nice. I was hoping that, we'd get some last night when we were in yeah. team four again, but it didn't happen, did it? Maybe That's tonight. They are tough. Yeah. That, that is something we haven't actually talk, talked about on here. That, that there is actually a random occurrence of rogue agents just spawning, much like the hunters did back in the Division 1. Yeah. And I think we skipped that last week. They just, the, the fact that there was two of them, they just kept pinching me. I had to kill one, and then the other one was easy to kill. But the fact that there was two of them made it very difficult because they're using your skills against you. Like they've got exact same skills as you. And they don't sit and cover like the normal NPCs do. They they move around. They try and flank you. They push you if they f feel like they've got an advantage. It's, it's it's tough. Well, we got absolutely wiped by four of them last week. Is it? Is it four? Or <clears throat> yeah. Was yeah. It, uh, I think it was Reaper that night as well. I might I might yeah. be wrong. Um. Yeah, that was tough. But you know, half half I can't speak for Reaper, but I know Rob's build was pretty decent. But me, me and you, Mike, were pretty straight out of New York, pretty fresh, basic level forty and lower gear. So yeah, we we didn't stand a chance, did we? Fresh. That's off the that's, block. that's why I wanted some last night, and I really hope we get some after we recorded tonight, because then we can see if we've progressed. Yeah, it, it definitely feels like that's uh, we're kind of like in the slow progression at the minute. I mean, especially with time to play and stuff like that. You know, we haven't got all day because we got other stuff to do. But um, yeah, Boris. And uh, um, something I didn't know until I was in chat with Doc last night is that I don't know whether it's in missions, but he was in open world and he had some attack him. And after a while, they just disappeared. They just um, they escaped. Whatever they said, rogue mm. agents says have escaped on the screen, which is cool. It means you've got a time limit to kill him. <coughs> Uh, Luke, Hi. what do you what do you think of the difficulty? I know we've only really dealt with challenging, and then obviously up in what control points to level four or five, Le level four, which makes them technically heroic, but you're still on a challenge mm. world tier, aren't you? But I I did do a couple of things with Rob uh, last week on heroic, and there isn't an awful lot of difference, to be fair. No, I I didn't feel like there was. Um, I like I like where the difficulties are. I'm not a, a massive fan of the bullet sponginess, but without them being more creative in ways of making the missions more difficult rather than just bigger health pools and, and bullet sponginess, I'm not entirely sure how they do it. So, Well, they, they obviously need to make the NPCs more aggressive, which kind yeah. of feels like they have done with the Wallets of New York stuff. Um, the cleaners definitely seem more aggressive than any other oh, faction. Man, the fire. Yeah. Well, the other That's, thing as well is like something Rob said, I think last night was they, the, one of the good things they did in, was it title update seven was the increase of NPC explosive damage. So like you really had to get out of the way once you've got those, um, bombs going off and all the rest of it near you from NPCs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's that, the same. that was good because if, yeah, it kind of kept you on the move. Cause that's how I feel like when we go into certain missions at the moment, you know, you're being forced and pushed around and, you know, you've got chunguses and all the rest of it, like kind of flanking you constantly. But the downside is just the fact that they are, you know, even with three, three or four of you kind of focus firing on, on one NPC, it just seems to take forever. And then you get kind of outflanked by other ones at the same time. And if they just adjust that down slightly, I feel like you'd be in a better position, but it's just a shame that we're kind of in this position again because we've gone, we've talked about this time and time again, you know, bullet sponginess and all, all the rest of it. It definitely feels like we're back in like the 1.3 days of the division, but I would say nowhere near as bad to a no, degree. No, it's like, it's like division one, 1 1.3 light, isn't it? Apart from like what Rob said, the fire damage, because that is just instant melt. You're on so, her, like you're dead if you get yeah. hit by that fire. That's, well, that's I, I, regularly what kills me. It's either grenade or fire damage. The Chungus, well, I, the I, chungus I, difficulty, I think, I feel like their sponginess is a little bit too high on a group of four as well. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you shoot the ammo out, you're trying to shoot this, um, the crypt at the point on the side, on the backpack. Yeah. And then even then, it's still like, come on, come on, come on. You know, you're reloading a couple of times. And I, I'm not complaining about the difficulty. I enjoyed it. 
but it does feel like it just needs dropping down very slightly. Um, and I like the fact on the state of the game today, you know, they did say that they're not going to drop it down completely. No, they're the not difficulty adjust is it. to say similar. Yeah. Just I, and I like the fact tweaks. Drew said that. Yeah. Yeah. I like the fact Drew kind of stuck to his guns. He said it, said the same last week that they want it to be challenging. They want it to be difficult. And this is this is what we've wanted for like the last six months: challenging content that you can min max build for. Mm-hmm. If you know, we're literally is it a week? Is it yeah. been out a week now? Week, Jesus week, Christ! Week and a day. No, week and two days. It came out Monday, didn't it? So it was supposed to be I, Tuesday, and it came out on the Monday. I'm just thinking, <clears> like <throat> the majority of people aren't going to have a fully min max build yet. That's what I was so going to say we, when you stop talking. It's like when if they lower the difficulty down, the problem you're going to get is they lower the difficulty down because nobody can do it now. Then everybody's going to get a really good build and then it's going to be back to TQ7 where you could just face tank shit. And I, I really don't want that. No. I think that really helped contribute to the staleness of the game because it was just too easy. Like it was literally yeah. take your brain out, yeah, put it in the fridge and then just play the game and then put your brain back in before you go to bed. It's like, yeah, I'm just enjoying like needing to be in cover, watch what the NPCs are doing, constantly moving so that you're not going to get um, grenade spammed or burnt to a crisp or pushed from behind or the side or whatever. It, it, it's actually making the game interesting and uh, keeping you engaged with the game rather than just, as I say, be, take, yeah. take your brain out and just shoot stuff. You have to be aware of you, your positioning a lot more now. Yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. your teammates' positioning as well. Yeah. It's like last night when you died on top of that control point, nobody could get to you. <laughs> yeah. You were just stuck like, there I'm for five go minutes because nobody could get. I was going to go up here and just like destroy people and then I got like, grenaded as soon as I got up there. But you, but you are definitely right. You need to be fluid. You have to move around. Like the, these things we weren't doing before. We were loading into a mission and just walking through it. And I, I know that's going to change, but I, I, kinda, I do 100% agree with Luke. Like they adjust this down too much and you're going to have problems in the future. I just, I, I honestly, I just think they should wait. Just give it um, another couple of weeks and let people see where it all lies rather than just jumping in straight away and going, oh, people are complaining, let's fix it. Or, I, or just adjust the challenging and leave heroic as it, it is. Guys, 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 guys. I don't... Th- have you seen... Have either of you watched anyone attempt a legendary? Okay. I, sorry, I they was They are leaving no. that alone. If you get to the point where you're finding heroic a walk in the park, then go do that because I've seen some streamers attempt it and it makes, it makes heroic look like a walk in the park basically. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, we've definitely got a few people in our clan that are definitely going to try that, that out. I'd like to try it, but I'm not sure my build will ever be quite good enough. <laughs> I, I think I've got this funny feeling that Doc and Bori would be like the people to be like, I'm going to go do these solo. No, first. I, I don't think like, that's possible at the moment. I know, but I just, they have that kind of competitive nature between them. It'd be quite interesting to see who does who does that first. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. it. The raid, they're not, you know, is, that's not really affected by any of the balancing um, as it's actually balanced separately. Uh, they, you know, they've, they've kept saying that loot should provide good loot as long as it's on harder difficulties but you shouldn't be getting was it purple items on challenging difficulty maybe they should just leave the difficulty alone because then i feel like we've said this before though right and we were like you know let me finish my train of thought motherfucker because (sighs) over the next like four seasons we're obviously going to get more gear sets right that will have to be better than the last gear set, otherwise what's the point, right? So it allows for that power creep. If you leave the difficulty as it is now, when we get to like, what, six months away, it might be a little bit easier, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not not sure I completely agree that every gear set should be better than the one before it. Because they're just, Gear sets will give you a different play style, won't they? Not necessarily just more power. Well, the way the division works, if it's not meta, no one's going to use it. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> like that sweet striker set, right? 
You notice yeah, how, how I was basically... freely giving it away yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, 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 there is issues with loot at the minute. They're looking into it. I think that's. I think that's really it. It's not. It, it, it was quite funny to see like a lot of the problems that were known issues. It's just a case of yeah, we know we're looking into it. There wasn't really much they could say, was there? Well, no, they did say that they're going to have to do a client patch to fix a lot of the things because. Yeah, sinkage. But it's going to have to be done. Which really means they have soon. to update PlayStation and Xbox, yeah. which means it takes time. Yeah, it takes a couple of weeks for go for it to go through, doesn't it? So, but it, it's going to have to be done soon because they're actually moving buildings in the next month, aren't they? They're moving to the the. Uh, How do you know that? that? They put it on Twitter. Oh, okay. I feel like that's been happening for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I, th- I think it's actually finally. I think Riley App put it out on um, Twitter that he's looking forward to it, and then you know something like that. Moving house is one of the most stressful things in the world. Thanks, Rob. Um, Thank you so much. No, it's actually a fact. Um, I know you're about to move house, Mike. And uh, it's not set in stone, so I'm moving. That. Moving a massive building like that. Sorry for the pun, but that seems like a lot of work. Well, they're not moving the building. No, I mean just... moving because there's obviously a house has a certain amount of stuff. You then not have really? to put that in boxes, move it to the other house. That's not a house. It's a like it's like an old factory, isn't it? It's huge. It's a building. It's a big ass building with lots building. of windows and floors. And offices. I love, and the, they have I love to, like, the fact you're like, explaining the moving scenario. I just wouldn't want to be in charge of that. It would that would be stressful? It would be. Th- that's <laughs> sorry. That was fine. Uh, okay, let's get on to questions and feedback for this week. Uh, Jesse or at Line Hunter fifty two on Twitter says. That's it, Rapidio. Hey guys, I've just beat the DLC. At what point should I change the world level? I noticed that the progress didn't carry over from normal to hard. Should I gear up in normal before going to hard? Robert. Why are you asking me? Um, so I'm asking you. <clears throat> Get lots of level 40 red stuff, put it on, jump straight at challenging. Okay. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, and I asked people's thoughts in our Discord uh, with regards to the difficulty and loot drops into U8 and what b- builds and skills people are using. Uh, Quinch said, for me, difficulty now is finally a challenge. It feels good. 2U7 was boring, much like what Luke said. Easy mode for any difficulty level. Loot drops need tweaking, though, as it's hard to progress up levels with the drops in whatever difficulty you have set. Would you boys agree with that? Yeah. Uh, Luke, do you want to take the next one? Uh, Batman's Nemesis says, too many purple loot drops, annoying we can't upgrade exotics to level 40, and the difficulty is only annoying because they're bullet sponges. I'd rather it was tactically hard instead of just giving them more armor and health, etc. I know the exotic upgrade is a fix they're working on, isn't it? Or work in progress, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the bullet sponginess difficulty thing we spoke about earlier, so that's just somebody else in agreement with us, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, Rob J eight six five six cards says, "I'm loving to you eight. The difficulty has raised significantly, but I don't feel it should be adjusted. Challenges, sorry, challenge makes the game have a replay value. I'm not really running a certain build at the moment, but just putting better gear on when it drops." I think it's kind of in, in agreement with us. I, I'm kind of torn because I feel like we've gone over stuff before and said, it's not that difficult. Why are we complaining? And then three months later, like, ah, it is a little bit difficult. I say, I seem to remember something like this last year when we were on about loot drops. Like the fact that it was loot drops, but it was like one in a million was like a particular upgrade piece, which did end up being an issue. So don't know. Well, one thing I will say, if we're giving our advice 
Fast Hands on LMG is one of the best talents you could have. Agreed. Especially if you're running a crit build. Which also is, agreed. <laughs> which is really good at the moment, by the way. Uh, Seamaster GMT says, I'm simply running a half and half Petrov Fenris build. Last night I started getting pieces of Striker, so I'll be building on that soon. Uh, my skills are Seeker and switching between Healer Drone and Revive Hive, all dependent on which missions I'm running. As a primarily solo player, I was a little disappointed about my performance on challenging difficulty, so I notched it down to hard. I'm going to have to take... I'm going to have to take a knuckle down and concentrate on build quality. However, I ran last night with Bori, Chuck, and Twintel Heroic, and I didn't die as much as I anticipated and had anticipated. a blast Anticipated, yeah. It's definitely worth check it out in the Urban Dictionary, Rob, as you so rightly brought up earlier. <laughs> Whether that was on the show or not, I was pre show, dude. Okay. Uh, I hope to be able to build better and modify my gameplay enough to run solo on challenging. I, I think it's definitely a fair point that. Yes, you want to play it solo, but it is a blast playing the game as a multiplayer game. I think it always has been a social game, though, hasn't it? Yeah. Ever, ever since back in PlayStation 4 days on Division 1, it was, all right, I can play it on my own, but it's so much more fun taking the piss out of people in PlayStation chat and oh my emoting over people when they die. And when, we, when did we join Chuck's chat? Was it Monday or Friday? Mm, Friday. We joined it. After we recorded, shout Correct. out to that dude for putting air, putting up with every everyone in that chat. It was like ten people in that chat, and he was streaming at the same time. And so. I was smashed. You were smashed. Yeah, that was a that was a funny chat. Uh, Doc says difficulty is perfect. More difficulty, please. Doesn't he contradict himself there? I mean, for... <laughs> no, he just wants more of the same. <laughs> for a doctor, that's pretty stupid, right? Love you, Doc. Well, Glut Team Master said, you've got glutton for punishment. Yeah. Your table is ready. Uh, but he, he, Doc did say it's the most fun I've had in Division. This difficulty. He likes the word difficulty, apparently. Uh, Luke? The next one's just a winky face. I'll take the Boris one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Boris says, I've noticed a pretty big quality gap between challenging drops and heroic drops. Yeah. Um, he asked us if any of us have done heroic content have noticed a difference when dropping down to challenging? I take it your yeah, yes is agreement of that, Rob. The challenging loot is literally, I just pick it up as junk every time, unless unless it's got an arrow above it, which is very rare. To be fair, I had a lot of purples to put in the recal station yesterday, so... Yeah, I get, I do get purples, but you know we're we're on challenging rather than heroic. So that I mean, I'm not going to complain about that just yet. But I mean, having yeah. not done an awful lot of heroic, I don't want to speak too much. But I have, yeah. I've got quite a lot of max rolls in my library already. So yeah, uh, Rob, what? You want me to read the next one? I mean, that's the general consensus. Oh, right. I thought we were still talking about Boris's question. Okay, uh, Mary, for me as a casual. It was more challenging. Played the whole story solo and reached level 40 at the end. The cleaners are really threatening. Tried on hard after the story and had my, had my problems without any special build or something, but I think it's way more fun in a group now. On challenging, played in a full stack. I can't deal enough damage to enemies yet. My skills were the same with healing, chem launcher plus damage hive. Changed to four heals. On challenging mode. Uh, how are you? How are you guys feeling it's, about? It's really weird how some people are finding it easier when they group up. Hmm. Whereas I, I felt uh, like it was. I find the opposite. Yeah, but you're impatient. Okay. You are impatient. No, that's like the enemies are much spongier when you group up. Yeah, I think it's just the idea of playing with other people, though, isn't it? I think I, I can understand why people would say that it's easier in general in a group, because obviously, they're, yes, there's more enemies and they're more spongier, but they tend to spread out who they're focusing on, don't they? Rather yeah, than suppose, yeah. if you're on your own, you just get rushed by everybody that you fire a bullet at, and they're just like, yeah, kill him! But whatever. No, that's a fair point. 
Uh, Simple Jack 66 says there's only one aspect that I dislike about the update. I feel like my armor is just a vanity piece now. I can hold the trigger on my Bullet King for three seconds and maybe take down two segments of Elite's armor. Meanwhile, I can get shot twice by a said Elite and my armor is gone like Britain from the EU. <laughs> <laughs> hey oh. Uh, 10 out of 10 for the uh, Brexit joke. Uh, I've got to be honest, I completely agree. I mean, seeing you lot die more times than me last night was interesting. So, How much, how much armor have you got? Changed. I think it was like 1.1 million. Right. So you were running 1.1 last night. I literally had double my armor. Yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, but I literally just slapped that together. I haven't really looked at it, so I need to start. I, I've basically just been picking up gear and slapping it in the recal station at the moment because most of it's been purple, so it's not really much pe point keeping it. So yeah, I like I guess it. I like we need it. to play. go for a tank build. It's good. Uh, we'll see. You should uh, farm for that exotic chess piece. Okay. For sure. Uh, Luke, do you want to take the last one? Uh, yeah, so Chuck says, I'm not min-max by any means, but I've got a pretty solid rifle build. On hard difficulty, I can one-shot with my rifle. Challenging takes about four armor ticks away per shot, and heroic is about one armor tick per shot. I'm pretty squishy at the moment, so cover to cover is very important. However, I do enjoy the currently the challenge of the game. I believe the tankiness of the NPCs could be slightly decreased, but I really feel that it brings back to roots the modern-day shooter RPG that was Division 1 legendary mission type style. If, the, if it was to be decreased, I hope it's minimal change as possible. Just fire and maneuver. Yeah. I don't disagree, to be honest. Very, very slight tweak, if any. Um, I feel like we're repeating ourselves quite a bit. But yeah, the, I mean, the, the, that final comment, fire and maneuver, is very, very apt. Because that's. I think people just need to remember how difficult they found the game when we first got hold of Division 2 to... People obviously min match their builds and could run around like idiots. And it just feels plus, like we've gone full circle again. Plus, it's not Dragon's Nest where you will stack up on one item, you know, stack up on the boxes from the Division 1 and then shoot everything that moves, you know? Even though I miss those days to a degree. But I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting to see because, like, Reddit is definitely kind of all over the place with regards to the opinion from the <coughs> community on like Twitter's. Don't base any opinion with a sentence Reddit. that starts with in Reddit or on no, Reddit. I know. And then you've got people like Paul Tassion from Forbes, you know, putting out articles with regards to <laughs> bullet sponginess is back in the division two. It's like we haven't learned from these mistakes, which I kind of agree with, but it's a mine. I feel like it's minor tweaks, you know. For the people that are going to be playing this long for the long term, I don't think it needs to be adjusted. I feel like it's the people that want the builds. I want to be able to do everything now without spending the time mid-maxing yeah. that have I, the issue with it, which I which I completely understand because not everyone has, you know, forty hours a week to put into the game. I feel like the newer AI, like the newer factions are harder than the older ones because mm. maybe the new AI hasn't reached the old factions yet. Whether they're going to do that or not, I think that would that would be if they are going to scale back difficulty a little bit, that would be a way forward cuz I feel like cleaners and rikers are just they're hard when it comes to up in the difficulty yeah, they they definitely were last night or the night they, before they, when we played. They tend to move night. around a lot more, and they have the more tactics to push you out of cover. Yeah, whereas Black Tusk is just basically brute force numbers, isn't it? Or at least it felt like wow, that last the night. Yeah, until they Jesus. drop a doggo on you, or six. Well, <laughs> that one room we were in last night. What was it? Six or eight? Twenty. Like, Jesus that, Christ. That Twenty was, dogs, dude. That but that was, was quite still easy because. Cool. You could take them down like dominoes, can't you? Pop one and it yeah. EMPs the other ones and then you can blast them down. But yeah, the dog, the dog. I mean, I've always quite liked the doggos apart from Lucy and Buddy. Assholes. We need to set up a raid soon. No. It won't be that hard, trust me. That's what she said. No. The difficulty scaling is not the same in there. They said that on the state of the game. No. 
<laughs> Why not? Because I only raid in one game. <laughs> oh, but there's so many people playing now. It'd be so easy to get a raid together. Fine, you can fill my spot then, can't you? Well, you're not doing the raid anymore. Not uh, Probably not that one, no. I'll do the new no, one, obviously. Need the Eagle Bearer, dude. I don't need the Eagle Bearer. Not the Eagle Bearer. Yeah, no one's really using that. See? I don't, don't need it anymore. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> but then that's because LMGs are Son like... Son of a bitch. OP. God again. I kind of don't like that to a degree, though. The fact that LMGs are... Yeah, the, fact, the fact that it's a different weapon archetype than has ever been meta before. <laughs> no, it's just the nature of the weapon. It's There's not. so many bullets and the fact that the, the enemy are bullet spongy as hell. It's always... Yeah, that be. is literally the reason, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got that... Just a fuck ton of ammo. Especially if you've got the Bullet King gun as well. Yeah, a thousand, yeah, I need, thousand rounds. I need, I need to get that. I haven't got that yet. Anyway, huge thank you to everyone who sent in uh, replies to that over on Discord. I suppose give, give a shout out to our um, Discord as well. No. It's nice to see every everyone active and uh, sharing the thoughts on Wallers in New York on, on there and just having a good laugh and ripping into each other on that. So if you are interested, we do have a Discord that you guys can join. It's shared with um, bombshell shell jackets and uh, yeah, give us a shout if you need access to it. Anyway, Roberts. Yes. It's that time in the show. Ah, oh, yes. You're the least drunk I've seen you this week. Right? Are you actually sober? No, no. I've been drinking beer. Right, okay. I was demanded by Seamaster G Seamaster GMT to keep drinking on the podcast. <laughs> <Do you? laughs> right? That was that was the statement. That was the statement that you heard today after you'd already started drinking. Well, <laughs> 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 yep I'm not going to argue with you at that logic process are you going to tell me are you going to say the words you want me to tell you what to do no you, you normally do you say want, something do you want me to tell you to go no to there's a that? line you haven't said yet what where can the listeners find us Roberto there we go not Italy oh, fuck those Luke <laughs> uh, you can right find now. us over at Super Radio on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as our personal accounts on Twitter. I guess because we don't really have personal accounts anywhere else. Um, send any questions or feedback for the show to SuperRadioPod at gmail dot com, and we will not read them. Uh, or you can find us on the Discord, as Mike was just saying um we want to hear your thoughts on the news and the topics we cover so be sure to leave a comment and join the discussion in any of those places luke Did it. well done well done give him give that man a round of applause luke Hundred ninety seven episodes uh, to be Perfected. fair you made up some fucking words last week it was like slur where is, get, if you check out the slur yeah, there's a lot of paraphrasing yeah. Okay. <laughs> Please leave a review of the show using the podcast app of your choice. We really do enjoy reading them all. The feedback is excellent. And at the end of the day, it does help other people to find our show too. If you listen all the way to the very end of this podcast, you will hear all the juicy details about the other awesome shows that are available on the Mash Those Buttons network. Thank you. We do live stream as often as we can. So if you're interested in dropping by and chatting with us whilst we play The Division and some other games, you can find us all over at twitch.tv forward slash or you can probably find us in Chuck's stream hiding somewhere or in Boris's stream I don't know Completely. Yeah. anyway we have been Sitrep Radio thank you very much for listening agents and we will catch you next week have a great week bye 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 sequence complete security protocols deactivated server data replaced and CPU destroyed Terminating connection in three, two, one. You're listening to a Mash Those Buttons podcast. 
visit mashthosebuttons.com for a full podcast schedule. Cargo secured. Extraction complete.